Yo ada semai ma Adam ni asum dia free with Jesus Christ to her enemy ni na entina. Say ya mia daruma ya free penti kosumu ni ame usun usun kongkong we sani abadia. E di Adam bebre e na ebre ye. Enti kwa sada tuwa so e ye the most holy trinity. Da sefia kongkong ni ame kro. Ane ni ame ba kupenda oh ni usun yehu ni su one impress asun ni ame eja. Nyame oba, nyame son son konkron. On fana sum jene inshe ni bi emra wu fi. Ni be biya uwo biya. E nun tuno ye ne FST sisters. Ane. Filia Santissimia Trinitatis. Wo mu ene ne. Ye nou mu kwa kwa ye e som no. Na albishop. Gebo jase ab not chief yoku masada se suwa. O di som no enim. Na sof bi bri en su pi ho. Na sisters ni diye. Ene pe ni beshe. E nye izi kwa. En ti ene. Wo mu madda convent. Ene kwa ye da kwa jom. Uba so beke mo mwa. Uni trouble. Ude fwe number se no. Ubi ya beso kwa ye sister. Ana beso unu mu kudi mkwa mwa hwe biya no. Uni trouble kwa ye po mwa. Uli si ya me chido ho. Biya beye fine. Is a Sarah friend so I had no more. Is a Patricia and eh, or more super any now. No, you don't back us. Ah, let me be a Akuye. Be the honorary father Emmanuel. Come here, Fiji. And in the first reading, Moses has been reminded. Of all the things, wonderful things that God has done. Taking them through the desert, taking them through the Red Sea. Even the miracles that he did before Pharaoh, before letting them go free. He did not want them to live in slavery anymore. He wanted them to live in freedom. And that freedom meant they should worship him, love and worship him at all times. We too have to do the same. The important line was that they should keep all his statues. The sister who read it, do you remember that line? Keep all his statues. And in this way too, in the gospel reading, they are being sent to go and teach them, teach the people all that Jesus himself has taught us. So we want to know what has he taught us. What does he want us to remember at all times? It is important to know. It is important for us to reflect upon it. What are the lessons that today, if not going through the whole catechism, the catechism tells us even we know about it, right? When a boy in a minister saying the way you are Hey. It is only God who has revealed it to us. We may not be able to or we are not able to understand, comprehend, uh, phantom, that there are three persons in one person. We do not fully understand, but we believe. Why? Because God himself has revealed it to us. St. Augustine saw his with that little boy. C.K. Chesterton is telling us, just accept it. You won't die. When we go to heaven, we may ask him, but this is how he has revealed himself to us. He has revealed himself this way. That we may learn from that trinity. We've mentioned, uh, we talked about the, the, uh, in baptism, you and I were made the temples of God. So that will be the first lesson we need to know. And God pours, therefore, his spirit into our hearts so that as he pours his spirit into our hearts we may also receive that spirit and become that spirit he pours his spirit into our hearts and so if Jesus pours his spirit into our hearts then we are like who? Jesus, right? and if Jesus is the son of God then we are also what? sons and daughters of God it's all mathematics. We are good. 
It's not as much as we are doing here. Yes, because his spirit has been poured into us, we have become like him. And so, when the spirit is in us, we are able to say, Abba, Father. We are able to say that. And it is simply because Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, we are learning that the spirit of God has been poured into us, if not at any time, it was at our baptism. Number two, we want to learn that the Holy Spirit teaches us to respect both ourselves and others as we come from the same stock, as God created us all in his image and in his likeness. We get it. This fundamental teaching from Genesis uh, chapter 1 and 2, we learn that God created us, Adam and Eve, in his own image. Male and female, he created them. The theology on this matter is a whole book. He created us in his own image. And his image is Trinitarian. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Father and the Son and the Spirit, like the Son, there is always obedience. <laughs> and they work together. They do not even uh, wonder about it. They know that they work together. Yes, the Father is there. He sends the Spirit to go into the world. In fact, together with the Son, they send the Spirit to create the whole world. They said, and it came to be. They worked in unison. They worked together. And that means simply that they respected each other. Yes, one is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He created all things. He said, without, the Bible also says so, without him, he did not do whatever he did. So right from the beginning, just as the Father was there, the Son was there, and the Spirit was also there. And together, as one God, created the universe. The important thing is that they have a respect for one another. There is a big uh, uh, Latin word that describes how they dance together in one another, how they work together in one another. So you, my sisters, if I'm not addressing the, 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 uh, your, your associates, what about you? Are you dancing together? Are you holding your hands together in love, in unity? I hope you are doing that. In fact, number three emphasizes the same thing. What is the third lesson I believe we are learning today? We are learning that we are a community of God. In the Archdiocese of Kumasi, I know, I believe you know, that we call ourselves a Eucharistic community. We want to share and experience the love that Jesus himself shared in sharing himself with us. We are a Eucharistic community. And if we are, then we cannot put the love of God under, like a light under uh, a bushel basket. We have to put it on a lampstand. In fact, our catechism number 22255 rather, says that the divine persons are relative to one another. Meaning, they relate with one another. Yes, they are of the same substance, but they relate with one another. And there are certain roles that are to be played. Yes, he is the Father. And he sends the Son. He sends the Holy Spirit. So they are playing their roles. They do their work, but he says, he is with me always. Whatever I do, the Son believes or says. He is doing it with the Father and the Spirit together. Do you do the same? When you are asked to go to what is what do you have at the cathedral? Uh, FSD collections. If you are there, do you believe that you are working for the community and not for yourself? Yes. 
the relationship in the Trinity is the same that you and I have to have. The relationship is like, it's not like, it is a covenant, not a contract. If you sign a contract, uh, will know what we have been going through. Contract is between two people who think that they are equal. And so you bring something and I also bring something. And then you look at the equity. Uh, is it going to be for, uh, 30, 70, or 50, 50, or uh, what do you call that? 40, 60, whatever the figures may be. So whatever you bring measures the amount that you will take home. So if you don't bring anything, like somebody said, no contribution, you cannot partake of it. No contribution, no job. No, that is a contract. If you don't bring anything to the table, then forget it. If you don't work for whatever, whatever, then forget it. We live in a covenant, which is different. The, the people in the covenant are unequal. It is with God that we have that covenant. We can never, never, never be like who? God. We only serve him. But God, he is always faithful. Even when we fail, he still loves us. He gives us his love. He wants us to give, us, uh, give his love to him. Though, even though sometimes we do not do, he still loves us. He never fails us. Even when we fail, he still cares for us. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, this or these lessons are the message that I would like to share with you today. We live in a covenant, covenantal relationship that in which God provides all things. His grace, he does not ask a persona from us. It is gratuitous. He gives it to us free of charge. He cares for us free of charge. Ours is to choose to love him and to serve him. But you see, we don't see God. So how do we know that we love him? And I will say, He has called us into a love relationship. A relationship in which we do not hide anything from him. It is a relationship of sharing. Let us know that you especially, if you have been called into the Trinitarian community, then you have to share this love in a very unique way. My prayer is that today will be a blessing for you as you celebrate your feast day and even continue to plan for your 30th anniversary. May God bless you now and forever. Amen.